Hey everybody, welcome to GDPG! Eee. We're playing the Platinum demo of Final Fantasy XV, which is way better than the gold version. <laughs> which doesn't exist I don't, that I'm I aware personally of. I'm a fan of uh, Fire Red or uh, Leaf Green. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we did the episode Do Sky, if you want to check that out, way back when. And this is the new up-to-date demo, so that we're going to play this. That was, I think when we first started using this studio space. Wow. And uh, before Things we had our changed. second microphone... It's constant evolution, guys. So, uh, right now, just looking at the screen, you can already tell I played almost three hours of this, but already looking at the screen, you can see the little guy up there, like, oh, look at the cute little fennec fox guy. He it looks... is. It's like a unicorn fennec fox. You're, you're right. And when I was looking at him, like, he looks really familiar. Like, I feel like I should know him. Remember that. Oh, no. Was there something in the, the disc demo with him? Nope, not at all. I didn't think so. So basically, the premise is we are in Noctis. Um, his uh, Noctis is his name is Noctis. I think Noct for short. Anyway, uh, we're in his dreams right now. Okay, that explains. I knew that this was going to be a re really like a weird setting. Ooh, really, the only part I could pick up from it is uh, Your Majesty over there, and mm. then them saying his name. So, so do you think like? Okay, so we're little kid Noctis. Kind of. So, do you think? I have my own theories as to what's happening. Do you think? Okay, so going along with like, what the uh, the animated movie is about? Do you think like maybe this is when the shit is going down in the kingdom and he gets knocked out? Um. It's entirely possible. That reminds me. Uh, so, Final Fantasy XV, the creators, uh, Square Enix, just did this huge thing for it. Like, I mean, huge. If you um, haven't already heard about it, I yeah. feel like the internet's been blowing up about it. But. So, so there's been a movie announced that's going to happen about the main character's father in the kingdom that when it gets attacked by magic tech troops is in the other kingdom and stuff like that. And that one's a 3D animated film, right? Yes, it actually looks pretty awesome. It does look awesome. Um, he makes little noises. He talks to us through the phone. What? Because it's in the dream. So basically, oh, that makes sense. it... At first, I was like, that's ridiculous. And then I thought about it. I was like, well, I'm a kid that grew up in technology. He's receiving, like, the, the things are, that's how things are going to make sense in his head. If right. He, if he dealt with phones his entire life, and normally he wouldn't be able to speak to a little fox creature, <laughs> then I guess a phone translation makes sense. And, and I was going to say, how do we know that we're in a dream right now? But he, he actually just explained that. He was like, he, this yeah, is in your they dreams. Don't, they don't hide it. They don't get cryptic about it, which, I, you know, it's, it's, it's good. It's good. Uh, because it's already weird enough, to be honest. Uh, well, especially so. if it ended with this being like, aha, it was all a dream. It'd be like, f*** you too. <laughs> f*** you. <laughs> um, cool, so we can get, we get to rummage around a little bit and pick up these things that do maybe something. I, I, I'm going to be honest. I don't know what they do. I came very close to collecting all of them, and then I screwed up at some point. And I'm sure anybody else who's played this demo probably knows the point at which I screwed up. And they also went, ah. All right, so I just unlocked Bronze Place, which are these things. Uh, prepare yourself. I'm going to let you know right here, right, design-wise, this frustrated me a little bit because two things are happening at once, and it's frustrating. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. So you were probably looking at the terrifying face that looked like he wanted to eat you yeah yeah the text that disappeared at the same time that he disappeared said don't worry about him he's just a gentle giant so that's the frustrating like giant. he didn't look like a gentle giant but that's the frustrating part right it's like why would you <laughs> show the text at the same time that i want to i'm i'm watching your 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 scene ah uh. And then it disappeared, so it wasn't even like I could go back into it later. Yeah, considerably, that is, I mean, that's, you haven't just do, dozed off your out. Okay, so you did get knocked out. Exactly. So, your highness, watch out. And then this happens. Huh. So Interesting. So then the question is, is he a kid? Or is this, or is this, this is his dream? And I kind of, of have like, an answer to that for later. Oh, so, really? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I was I've already say, played through this, it, obviously. In a way, it could even be sort of like a sequel to Disque. Um, 
It could be. It could be that. It could be right before. Um, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not sure how nebulous or you know whatever they wanted to make it. Time has sped up. Whoa. Uh, yeah, yeah. So there's actual day-night cycles going on? There is. I don't know exactly what they all do, but I do know I do know one effect. And hmm. I'm gonna show you show you it's awesome. So if you have not didn't get to experience this, um, if some if you have played through it and you didn't realize um, oh. you get different slightly uh, a slightly different effect in this coming up part um, if it's nighttime. And it's huh. it's pretty cool. It's not a big deal, but it's it's something. So treasure is hiding everywhere, which is cool. You know, get to. Um, okay, so I wanted to actually talk about the difference so far between this demo and Do Sky. Yeah, I'm um, curious. Because before, if you came up close to something, you could press a button and take cover near it, and you'd be like crouching nearby. Mm -hmm. While you're doing that, you'd recover your MP. Um, <laughs> and be uh, okay. Yeah. You'll be okay. <laughs> Uh, and you would recover MP, and then you might be able to sneak by things and stuff like that. There is no mechanic for that in this demo, so I'm not really sure if uh, if they got rid of that mechanic hmm. or what. Um, I assume there is combat in this game still. There is combat. Okay. Yeah, and we'll find that very shortly. I mean, from a design standpoint, maybe if in this game they uh, wanted to... It bothers to... me. It's right there. Just... Lift your arms up, kid. I know, right? Oh, and it even they even put a little cr look at that. Like, so I know there's probably some player watching this. You gonna be like, dude, you just go do this and you'll get up there. And I'll be like, <laughs> you're right. <laughs> but uh, from a design standpoint, like, I suppose so. Say, say they actually do have that like crouching and like ducking behind cover mechanic in in the full game, right? Mm -hmm. um, I could see them pulling it out of this game if they wanted the player to focus more on. On different mechanics that they're that like the primary mechanics of this game. So say like it had no value in this game, they might have taken it out so it's less of a distraction. Um, the point of the demo, I think, is to show off different features of the f finished game. Uh, yeah, yeah, and that's entirely possible. But the the reason that the only reason I would think maybe they took it out is because there are a few things that have actually changed since okay. the last demo um so that's the only reason that it, it would be a possibility i i think it would be kind of a shame only because hiding from the behemoth during the first game was amazing was amazing so i i understand that the cover mechanic was a little weird in general recovering mp and being like hiding against the rocks and clearly your enemies can see you so it was a little weird but hiding from the behemoth was cool so maybe they just need to work on it but um, so, if anybody caught it, at the top there it said Ruby Light when he, um, he made me weapons. He just created me weapons. Oh! I have a toy sword now and a squeaky hammer. Yeah. Um, so, what's important about that is, anybody who's played a lot of Final Fantasies, the moment you see the word Ruby Light, you're probably thinking, oh, Carbuncle, the summon, the summon, oh, he's Carbuncle! So, little Fennec Fox is a character called Carbuncle that is, he was in Final Fantasy... Six. I don't think he was in four. I'm pretty sure he was in five, maybe. So wait, was he? I don't remember. If he was was he a five. character or was he a summon? He's a summon. Oh. So much like Titan is, he's he's a summon that he he casts reflect on your whole party. Huh. So do you think that he's going to be a summon in in fifteen? I mean, why would they pull him into here if he wasn't? I don't know if he is or if he's just a little helpful guy because they said at huh. the, if you complete this demo, you get an animal companion. Oh. So I think the animal companion is Carbuncle. Huh. I mean, that'll be made clear at the end of the uh, demo here. So uh, I got to f fight these. Uh, if you remember from the last demo, these look goblins. like the goblins. The little dudes that steal your potions. Yep. But they don't, they don't, I mean, I don't have potions to steal. So now they're just like, Wee, look at that. Okay, cool. So the mechanics have changed slightly. The buttons changed around a little bit. But also before, if you were attacking and you were pressing a direction, while doing it, you would just switch to your different weapons. But instead, now, while I'm attacking, Ooh. I can press the directional uh, and just change weapon. Change mid weapon because I, since while I'm attacking something, I don't need to actually move anymore because I'm just going to attack and you're, you're going to focus on that. I that can guy. focus on the the D pad now instead. That so has a lot switch, of potential. You yeah. switch between them. He sent me a little party hat for one. <laughs> so that's, uh, that's really smart. You know, actually, I, I like that a lot because like. 
what it does is it sort of allows for a lot of interesting combos and i don't know if they'll necessarily affect one another right so like mm -hmm. if i if i do the first two swings with the toy sword and then i do the final swing with the hammer does it like make the hammer do a mega attack does when it do a combo hit or something yeah like that? um and uh, so far no is the answer that's but... and that's what i would have expected from this demo but if they do stuff like that that's a really really fun way to hide different types of combos it's so much smoother now too because before combat was like you had to be really oddly precise about your hits and then you'd be like all right and i'm gonna press back while i attack and and then I'll do a flip kick and I'll follow it up with a charge by pressing forward attack. And then sometimes you would do the forward attack and you didn't want to. But this one with using the D-pad now, there's no question, no mistake. All right, you ready? You ready? So this this is uh, looks so much better if it's nighttime. Moving into daytime. Something's happening in the dreamscape. Whoa. That anybody will recognize. Um, from playing uh, Final Fantasy 7 and beyond is Leviathan. Now, if it is not nighttime when this happens, he looks like that the entire time. He just oh, looks really? like a blue silhouette. But if it's nighttime, you can actually see details. Huh. That's yep. cool. Oh, did, did I just pull out my phone? <laughs> it was like, it was like Leviathan's over my head. I'm like, oh. <laughs> Yeah, look at that. Twitter. Um, That's awesome. So wh what was the point of that? Was that just like an event that you can just trigger? Yeah. Does, and it doesn't necessarily do anything? No, not not in this demo, at least. It's <laughs> just like, it's, just, I think Mostly it's Mostly to show all, you that it's a thing. Yep. I think it's all just there to like show you what's going on in this character's head. Huh. I'm a crush the frog. I don't <laughs> think you can crush the frog, but I try to crush the <laughs> I mean, not because I'm sadistic, but because when I was a little boy, I was sadistic, so... <laughs> I mean, it's one of those things, too, where it's like, in a game, if you can do something, the player will do that something. It yes. doesn't matter if you're a malicious person or not. You just, right. like, you gotta know. If you give Link the option to attack the chicken, he's gonna He eventually attack. will attack the chicken. All right, follow his tail, jump in. Ha! Oh. I would have laughed, laughed if you had jumped in the water and it was like game over. <laughs> You're like no, no. <laughs> but this is a game in 2016. Water death shouldn't be a thing anymore. <laughs> but you just sink. It just disappear. Uh, like in Mario, like whenever you fall into the water things and then you die, and you, like the next level is a water stage and you're swimming around. Yes. You're like, just to jump out of the it's water. Like, what I can, doing, so I can swim now. <laughs> Although, to be fair, in Mario, it was usually lava. This feels very, feel um, uh, very Alice in Wonderland. Yup. The music even sounds very much like that. Huh. So, we are in, like, a study or a playroom. I can't exactly tell because there are a bunch of different things in this room. I mean, I assume it's probably, like... Oh, I think you'll like one of these. And he uses Ruby Light again. Huh. Ruby Light is the name of Carbuncle's attack, by the way. Oh, okay. Attack, he casts Reflect on you. Instead, he's just giving you cool stuff. Nice. So he gave me fireworks, and um, now we can see how magic works. Ooh. I assume this this environment, like this building that we're in is probably like his home. Maybe like the palace? Would it be a palace or would it be like I think this kid castle? lives in a I I don't even know. I mean, knowing Final Fantasy, it's a castle. Yeah, that's fair. It's already daylight again. So I mean, I are the know, living so areas of the of... castle called just the castle, or is it like I don't know? I don't know that much about. I I mean, not a lot has been really revealed. That's fair. So it's dusk, and now I've made it night again. You get to see the time shift. Ooh, that's nice. Oh, I also skipped a plate earlier that changed the weather. Real-time lighting like this, by the way, is like, that is the future of next-gen... Uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. ...game system, like, game rendering systems. It's blocked. When will it... Wait, I don't remember it being blocked. Maybe I went ahead and then it unblocked it. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, now that games play at, like, 60 FPS and we've got, like, ridiculous resolutions... We can actually pull that stuff off. Yeah, Good good lighting effects are are honestly like some of the things that make games look um, incredibly polished in AAA nowadays. So good. Um, well, well I I'll show you what this car plate does next time. Yeah. But in the meantime, probably come up with a question. Yeah. Okay. So question of the day. Um, should we direct this question toward people that have played the demo? Maybe we should comment on like differences between 
Disque and and um, that's well, probably I, what I would focus on. That combat mechanic. Um, so before, like, right when you were attacking, you, you'd... I can't. Oh, there we go. Okay, you'd be like, all right, cool. Attacking sword Sam, I'm just holding on the button. I don't have to sit there and hit it infinitely. And then normally, if I would press like back, forward, sideways, or whatever while I was attacking, I would do different combos. Not anymore. Uh, now I have this option where. Man, he's so weird. It's a little buggy with the attacking, I feel. And then I can <laughs> switch with the D-pad. <laughs> so, so then I guess the question is, if you haven't played Platinum or Duske, um, based on what you've seen so far, what do you think is like some some of the things they've improved with with the changes in the design, um, based on what you've seen? And if you have played Duske and Platinum, um, what other things have they changed that we haven't commented on? Um, in, oh, yeah. in, in what ways are they maybe an improvement and maybe not an improvement? That's a good question. Yeah. Cool. Well, All we're right. going to hopefully, I believe we're playing through the whole demo, so stay tuned for more. Um, and until oh, then, be, awesome. be sure to vote on anything else you want to see. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, for, Thanks for watching, everyone. <laughs>